What if I were to tell you that there might already be a team being built at Activision, the specific part of Activision that makes Call of Duty, to make future versions of Call of Duty for Nintendo platforms? This is before the Microsoft deal acquisition goes through and they spend the $69 billion to acquire them. I know there's a lot of legal battles going on with that acquisition and Microsoft did make a public promise of 10 years of support to Nintendo with Call of Duty. Of course, they don't control the company. So what is going on? Why is this happening? And how do we know? Well, let's get into it after I remind you of today's sponsor, eWin Racing. eWin Racing makes office chairs just like the one I'm sitting in right now. They have a bunch of different varieties for all shapes and sizes. I have an XL chair over at my desk. I don't really need an XL chair, but I wanted to just try out a different type of eWin chair after using this one for years. And honestly, I couldn't be more happy with the product. I can't suggest it enough. You can check out Ewan Racing through the link down in the description and use code Nintendo Prime for 20% off. Also, did you know it's a good time to get an Ewan chair because they now have the ability to split your payments up into four different payments using two completely different payment systems. I find this to be really, really nice for people that maybe can't afford, you know, their $180 after discount chair today, but could afford to do four monthly payments. Look, it's just another way to get your Ewan chair. Highly suggest you go check out their website. <laughs> Well, first, I need to give credit to the hiring post extraordinaire, the LinkedIn sleuth of sleuths when it comes to Nintendo related stuff, DocTray81. You guys should definitely go check out his YouTube channel. He's a small content creator, but he's always been on top of this stuff. And when he is, we typically cover it because he's not boring us by giving us, oh, random person on Twitter or, or, uh, you know, someone on the reset era forums gave us information nah this person is legitimately looking at actual stuff that's out there and sharing it with all of us and here's what we know right so according to a linkedin profile and a hiring post there is someone being hired for call of duty for a brand new studio and you might go okay so they're hiring someone for call of duty for a new unnamed studio what's the big deal well this new studio may in fact be related to nintendo because as is listed on the top right corner of this post five former nintendo employees also have been hired for this studio five former nintendo employees now this studio is going to be located in texas and when you think about former nintendo employees in texas you're probably thinking of retro studios so it seems that there might be some former retro studio staff working at this studio five of them in relation to nintendo directly so this is a brand new studio it's hiring more stuff a ui designer in this uh case honestly this does seem highly likely that it could be a specialized team working on call of duty games for nintendo platforms now are they working on something for switch right now i don't know are they working on something for the next generation of hardware i don't know but what does seem interesting is that we know all of the current call of duty studios we know even the projected roadmap of call of duty games what we don't know is what this new studio is doing with call of duty and why it has you know a handful of former nintendo employees concentrated on it we have no idea but what we do know is that this is exciting to think about the idea of call of duty either on switch or future nintendo hardware obviously fulfilling the microsoft promise maybe with or without microsoft i do find it interesting that activision seems to be dedicated to this now and spending money on this now obviously they would have to if there's going to be future support but I do find it interesting that regardless of the acquisition going through, or maybe this is just a vote of confidence that Activision Blizzard thinks the acquisition is going to go through, that they're just getting ahead of the game here. Or maybe Microsoft strong-armed them into starting this. I, I don't know how they can. They don't have any control of the company. I think it's interesting. I don't think Nintendo needs Call of Duty. Obviously, it doesn't. It is, according to VG charts, now sold over 120 million units. Um, Splatoon 3 was like, you know a big seller last year so they have a shooty shooty game 
on Switch. They don't really have a lot of high quality military shooters. There are a few out there. We got Sniper Elite and a couple others, but nothing to the degree and level of Call of Duty. Obviously, a lot of us would like to see Warzone and stuff come over. Look, I don't know what's going to happen with this studio if they are going to make Nintendo stuff, but it is notable they have a bunch of Nintendo former employees and it's a brand new Call of Duty studio when we seemingly already know the roadmap for Call of Duty. So what is this studio doing? Well, they could be handling ports and or versions of Call of Duty specific for Nintendo. I think this is nothing but good news. Uh, in this era where a lot of people talk about developers abandoning Nintendo, I find that I find that remark to be quite interesting when people talk about AAA developers not supporting Switch because in the end, they've never had full AAA support. We've had a few sparing games, sure, and in, in particular, Bethesda was a pretty big supporter with the Wolfenstein, two Wolfenstein games and two Doom games, but they've also not released anything in Wolfenstein and Doom since the last ones. So, okay, how do we know that support has fallen off? Well, Microsoft bought them, so if that support was going to fall off because of that acquisition, well, it was going to fall off anyways. Uh, there hasn't been a new Mortal Kombat game since the last Mortal Kombat game we had. There hasn't been a new Civilization game since the last Civ game we had. And technically, the new Diablo is not out yet, and we got the last Diablo. I find it just really fascinating when we mention third-party AAA support is falling off for Switch when one, it never really had a ton of major AAA third-party support in the first place. Example, Call of Duty's never been on Switch. But also, the ones it did get, we haven't had new versions of yet. You know, we got Skyrim. Well, we don't have the new Elder Scrolls, so how the hell would we know what's going to happen? That's It's the kind of the frustrating part that comes up when people mention that now is the time for new hardware. Which, by the way, I want new hardware. And But if, if your main argument is AAA games, oh, we're not getting the AAA games, blah, blah, blah. Well, we weren't getting the AAA games anyways. Like, if this isn't new. It's been this way since launch. And the games we did get haven't had sequels yet you know what i mean like how do we know we won't get mortal kombat 12 because mortal kombat 12 is not here <laughs> you know like what are, we, what are we talking about there hasn't been like a major triple a franchise that came to switch that has new versions come out that we haven't gotten well we've gotten the previous ones the only thing you could argue is maybe the fact we got the gta trilogy but we didn't get gta 5 i guess if you want to argue that but we never had gta 5 and gta 5 Running on Switch shouldn't be a problem. It runs on Xbox 360. Look, we've been down this road many, many times. People want new hardware. I want new hardware. A lot of these people clamoring over AAA games aren't people that really play Switch. Anyways, some that did buy Switch specifically for AAA games, you know, like, oh, well, I played The Witcher, and because it had cross saves with the PC, that's really cool. Where's our new Witcher game? Well, well we, maybe, maybe you don't got that one, but what about Cyberpunk? I'm like, okay, well, Cyberpunk struggles to run on a PS4. What are we even talking about here? Like, they had to yank it off the damn PS4 shot. Are we really going to go to the Cyberpunk route when they couldn't even make it run on the originally announced hardware? Let's just, let's just maybe hit pause on that. Maybe CD Projekt Red isn't the be-all, end-all developer that we all thought they were after, obviously, the success of Witcher 2 and Witcher 3. And obviously, the old ports and stuff they did to build up their company. A, a, you know what? They bit off more than they could chew with Cyberpunk. I think I think it's not even controversial to say that. So my point is that I think Call of Duty coming to Switch is a good get. It is something we haven't had. If this studio is going to be a studio working on it, I don't think it's going to mean anything this year. But it could mean something for 2024 or beyond, which obviously would be likely the next hardware. So, hey, I'm excited about this. So you let me know if you're excited about Activision Blizzard seemingly building a team for Call of Duty with or without Microsoft for Nintendo. I, I think this is nothing uh, but good news. I don't know how big this team is going to be. I'm assuming it's going to be quite small, maybe 15, 20 people. That's about what you use to port games. So I think that that could be what this is, a port studio specifically targeting Nintendo hardware. And I'm very interested to see what they have coming. Right now, I, I mean, I'd even take like a Black Ops 2 uh, remaster for Switch or something like that. Black Ops 2 was really good back on the Wii U. So I would love to see that come back in a remaster on Switch. Anyways, I'm just throwing out a possibility for like a really quick game maybe they could get out this year. But I am Nathaniel Rubble Jets from Nintendo Prime. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video.